I'm Father Matthew Tomini, Rector of the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy with the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception. And this is Saints in Focus on my name patron, Saint Matthew. Of course, we all know that Saint Matthew is one of the 12 apostles and the author of one of the four gospels, which is why he is called an evangelist. His story offers a powerful message of faith and redemption. You see, Matthew was a publican or tax collector for the Romans. You do not want this job, especially in the Holy Land. Publicans were hated by the Jews as they were a reminder of their subjection to the evil Roman Empire. The Pharisees, moreover, regarded publicans as a prime example of a sinner. It's intriguing that Matthew tells the story of his conversion in his own gospel without specifically identifying himself. We read in chapter 9 that Jesus enters a town and heals a paralyzed man, much to the consternation of onlookers. Then he notices Matthew. As Jesus went on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, he told him, and Matthew got up and followed him. While Jesus was having dinner at Matthew's house, Many tax collectors and sinners came and ate with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they asked his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I have come not to call the righteous, but sinners. That surely is one of the most powerful passages in the New Testament. In the citation from the prophet Hosea, I desire mercy, not sacrifice, is an inspiring reminder of divine mercy. Imagine Jesus approaching you, a hated man, and then choosing you. And without hesitation, you drop everything and follow him. Incredible. That is faith. We don't know a great deal about Matthew's life after this dinner party and after the ascension of Jesus. According to tradition, he preached in Egypt in Ethiopia. In the traditional symbolization of the four evangelists, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Matthew is represented as a divine man, a man with wings. This is because Matthew's gospel is, in the words of St. Irenaeus, the gospel of Jesus' humanity. Matthew highlights Jesus' entry into this world first by presenting his family lineage as son of David, son of Abraham, and then telling the story of his incarnation and birth. The character of a humble and meek man is kept up through the whole gospel, St. Irenaeus adds. Some say St. Matthew lived until his 90s, dying a peaceful death while others say he died a martyr's death. Today he is, not surprisingly, the patron saint of accountants, bankers, bookkeepers, customs officers, security guards, stockbrokers, and of course, tax collectors. How do we best honor St. Matthew, especially on his feast day, September 21st? Pick up the Bible and read his gospel, for one, and try to be more watchful and a good listener. God is calling you all the time to follow him in faith, in work, family, and vocation. When you hear his call, be like Matthew and do not hesitate to respond. Saint Matthew, apostle and evangelist, pray for us. <laughs>